Hi crafters! In this video I'm going to show you how to do the reverse loop stitch. It is a modification to the loop stitch where the loops form on the inside of the work. I wanted the loops to form at the outside of the work so you have the right side up when the animal is finished as you can see with this lovely border collie dog. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so I already made this small piece to work around. 10 single crochet stitches around a chain of 4. We start with the loop stitch and continue for the reversed version. So wrap the yarn around your finger, insert the hook into the next stitch, go over the yarn at the front and around the yarn at the back, grab it and put it through the first two loops on the hook. Finish this stitch as a normal single crochet stitch by yarn over and putting through the two loops on the hook. Now we will continue for the reversed version. Pull the loop to the front by inserting your needle, your hook into this part of the stitch. It's the front side of the stitch. Find the yarn at the back of your work. And pull it through the stitch. There! One reverse loop stitch is finished. Let's do another one. So insert your hook into the working yarn and make sure it is not twisted. You can see that if you pull the yarn, the front side will go down. Wrap the yarn around your finger, insert the hook into the next stitch, go over the yarn at the front and around the yarn at the back, grab it and pull it through the first two loops on the hook. Finish this stitch. And continue for the reversed version of the stitch. Insert your hook into this part of the stitch. Find the loop at the back of the work. And pull it through the stitch. Okay, so now two reverse loop stitch are finished. You can see the loops are at the front of the work and the stitches look quite the same as the rest of the stitches. I hope this video helped you to learn this skill. Thanks for watching.